Hey, <clears throat> what's up there guys? Elton here, and well, it is done. I'm finally, uh, kicked myself in the ass here to finally finish this painting. As a matter of fact, it pretty much was finished. And then uh, a few days ago, my friend Kevin came by, which I hadn't seen in a long time, and uh, he saw it. I'm like, you know, and he told me, he's like, oh yeah, he, under he co totally understood, like, the way I was going with this painting. And uh, as a matter of fact, I think he was the only one who you know, mentioned to me, well, not like any, many people came over to see this, because I think last week my stepfather came to pick me up for, a, you know, Christmas Eve dinner at, you know, his and my mom's place, and the family for Christmas Eve, and he's, I said, come over here and see this painting, and he looks at it and he goes, oh, he's like, oh, c'est beau, so, you know, he's French, so he said, c'est beau, which means it's nice, and, um, you know, but then Kevin looked at it, and he says, uh, he says, man, he says, it looks finished, I said, yeah, I said, it's, it's pretty much was thinking it was finished and I hesitated on finishing it because I think was looking at it here and there and I'm like you know what it, it, it looks finished it looks complete I told him like the only thing I had left to do is really like to really fix up the Chevy bow tie emblem there that I zoomed in on the beginning and a couple little things like the hood ornament and sign it and it's, it's signed over here yeah, but I did it so subtly you can barely see it I did that on purpose I didn't want there to be too much eye, uh, you know, the eye taken away too much from the darkness on the fenders, on the dark side there. And Kevin was so, uh, and thanks again, Kevin. Kevin was very, uh, uh, you know, spot on when he saw the painting. And he says, oh, yeah, he says, I get it. He says, the whole front anyway, you don't need to finish because it's done because it's all dark because the sun is setting in the background. You know, like he got that. Nobody else had mentioned that in comments or anything. So I was very impressed with that. And thanks again, Kevin. It's really, uh, because the thing is that I was going to keep going on this and, you know, try to put some like, <clears throat> fix up, try to, you know, because I'm a perfectionist. And sometimes being a perfectionist can drive you to fucking insanity, frankly, because the grill alone took me hours to do. Uh, and I knew that was going to be the most challenging part. I had to paint it, then they had to repaint it, they had to touch up again these bars. And even here, you can see it, they're not exactly to my liking the space here the gap here and this one too it's it's not easy i mean this is all freehand you know uh doing other stuff even putting like whatever four coats three four coats of that green paint whatever was not hard because you're just you know reapplying in the same places over and over again you're not working intricately and that's actually why i did not do a, a, a i thought about doing a video of where you guys would watch me paint but i'm like yeah, but it's just so intricate. I'm working, you know, like, it seems like forever on just one space, one area versus when I'm drawing. I can be doing this, I can be doing that, I can be coloring, working on the taillights, working on the, the wheel. You know what I mean? It's it's not, uh, I don't find it, uh, and, it, and therefore it's actually more frustrating. I find more challenging to, to, you know, to make a painting. So originally when I started doing this, <clears throat> you know, it's September, I figured this is going to be like quasi-serious. It's not going to be like a painting where it took me fucking nine months, like the 61 Monarch over here. Damn thing took me six months, uh, nine months to make this thing. Nine months or seven months? Nine months. You know, so uh, even though I listed it on Kijiji for a thousand dollars, it's kind of a joke because I'd be surprised if I ever, first of all, A, get the price that I want, <laughs> and B, uh, sell it to somebody here in Quebec from Kijiji. So, um, you know, I don't know. I was thinking originally when I, you know, started doing this in September, I'm like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, sell this for like uh, 100 bucks. But now even at 100 bucks, I'm like, eh, I don't know. There's a lot of work involved in this. It's going to be more than 100 bucks, that's for sure. But if you're seriously interested in it, you know, I mean, I'm, you know me, I'm not made of stone. You want to own a little piece of me, well, uh, you know, make an offer, make a reasonable offer. And uh, I'm proud of this painting because this is the only car from the 30s I've ever done a painting of. I mean, the other stuff I've done, as you know, is 60s and more 60s and then 50s and I'm obsessed with the 50s and 60s, you know? So, um, and I can ship this easily. I can, as you can see, it's not, it's not too big or anything. It's going to cost, uh, well, I think about, uh, what, 20 bucks to ship you know, regardless if it's Canada or U.S., maybe U.S. a little bit more. And uh, interestingly, also to finish that in these years, uh, the um, the uh, car, uh, the, these cars were actually also made into trucks because it was basically the size of a truck, even the steering wheel, I mean, you know. And what I did is, I forgot to mention before I finish, I, you know, when I started draw uh, drawing this and then painting it, I was using a, a photo I took of this exact angle of the same car, well, the same type of car, 38 Chevy, but it was burgundy. And I had photographed it in detail in uh, 2002 in um, Cantlouis, Quebec, near Gatineau. 
And um, and then I couldn't find the picture. After a few months, I'm like, where the fuck is the picture? I, I, I misplaced it completely. I don't know where the hell I put it. So I'm like, well, I need a reference, you know? And uh, <clears throat> so I cut this out of this uh, this great uh, uh, 40s, uh, sorry, this uh, great uh, 1990s Chevrolet book. I have every page is pictures and info. And, and then eventually I'm like, you know what? I'm like, this is too small. I need closer than this. I need, you know, this is not close enough. I need to see details. Perfectionist, once again. So let's see, do I still have this picture here? I downloaded this picture. Yeah, there it is. Look at this beautiful honey. Perfect lighting. The angle is like perfect. Look at that. Gorgeous. All original. And I say that because a lot of these cars from these years were hot rodded, unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, in the sense that there are probably, I think sometimes there's more of these Chevys in these years, you know, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, that are actually hot rodded than original. So, um,. Yeah, so I'm pretty proud of it. I'm glad I finally got it done. Like I said, I could have gone overboard with the grill. I was already, I'm like, you know what? I gotta stop somewhere. I'm glad I got Kevin's advice to just end it there and it's done. You know, because again, I can go to town on it, and I thought, oh, you know, I'll try to, you know, get some a bit of that orange hue into the grill on the side. I'm like, no, 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 no. See if you need it. It's done. I've been photographing cars and looking at photos of old cars for many years, all kinds of cars, and I know what things, how things are supposed to look in certain lighting anyway. So. It was supposed to be more of a, you know, of a fun, a simple painting, not something that's very complicated. Anyway, on that note, I wish you guys all a happy new year and uh, take care. And uh, and my next project, well, uh, it's going to be a drawing, and um, it's going to be the same size as the other ones you saw me draw. I will be filming drawing it, even though I'm a little not as crazy about using that stupid lamp as a tripod. So uh, <sighs> I probably should get a tripod eventually. Yeah. Anyway, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna. You're gonna see when you see the title what it is that I'm gonna draw. So it's gonna be actually something for one of my subscribers that he had asked me to do many years ago. <laughs> so uh, there you go. Surprise! 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 Take care, guys. Bye bye.